because it's like, I don't know, <laughs> I, I've got my own stuff to deal with, I've got my own content to make, I've got my own dreams to achieve, you know, and as much as I do want to be there to support you, like, sometimes I can't, and I'm not always gonna agree with you, you know, so, yeah, <laughs> fish and rats, ASMR, it is, yeah, ASMR, <laughs> fish, rats, tea, something you have to do, exactly, like, at some point, you just have to be a grown-up and deal with it, <laughs> I guess that's, like, a tough love way that I approach my life, but I honestly think that's the only reason why I've, like, been able to, like, get to where I am without even having an ounce of, like, mental instability, because, like, I know we joke about, like, I'm an error and all that, but, like, I've, I've done my, my dues, I've, like, been to therapy, I've, like, surrounded myself with people that I like, you know, I've, like, done self-reflection, and so, like, I'm in a really good place in terms of my mental stability, because, like, I don't know, <laughs> I feel like in a sense that's what allows me to, like, be funny and be weird and be stupid is because I'm so comfortable with who I am now, that, like, no matter what anyone says to me, I literally do not give a shit, <laughs> like, if they don't like me, that's their problem, I'm, I'm likable, <laughs> and I don't mean that in, like, a boasting way, I don't mean, like, I'm the best because I definitely have a lot of work to be done, but, like, I'm a good person, and I know that I'm a friendly person, and that's all that matters to me, so why would I care what anyone, like, who is, like, mentally unstable thinks of me? I don't know. <laughs> if anything, it's just, like, entertainment for me. Yeah, yeah. A little self-confidence goes a long way. Exactly. It's not even, like, I don't know. And I want, I want the police to have this mentality, too, like, like, Honestly, I know, I know I literally was saying this last stream, but like, I, I don't, I don't think there's been a moment apart from like that one marshmallow incident where I've had to like really set down my boundaries with you guys because like, I don't know, you guys are just like pretty bockers. <laughs> and so like, I know like, especially in the VTuber community, you like joke about like parasocialism and whatever, but like, you guys like, I want you guys to have this same mentality, like, please do not, if anyone is a hater towards you, like, literally tell them to shut the fuck up, and, like, move on with your day, because they don't matter, like, they do not matter, they are literally irrelevant, and people who hate on you are just, like, sad, they're just sad, they have nothing else to do with their lives, they have no hobbies, they have no interests, and they just need to, like, reflect on themselves, <laughs> and, like, that's, like, that's it, you're better than them, that's all you need to remember, and I'm not even, I'm not even trying to, like, insult people that, like, are haters, because it's, like, at some point, most of it probably stems from some sort of bad experience or trauma, and, like, honestly, like, I, I would love to help those people find, like, find something better to do with their time, like, maybe help them become a better person or whatever, like, I would never, like, if someone was out, 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 like, if we had a reformed hater in it, I'd literally be, like, Okay, join in, let's be, let's be friends, bestie. <laughs> but, like, yeah, just if you are someone that has received any sort of negativity or, like, anything like that, like, who freaking cares? <clears throat> like, who freaking cares? The people I take crap of is my father, my wife, my kids, you know, and husband. Exactly, exactly, like, if they aren't a prevalent part of your life, who freaking cares? Who freaking cares? <laughs> You should only care what I think of you. <laughs> if I think you're cool, that's all that matters. <laughs> if I think you're cool, that's all that really matters in this world. <laughs> Zach, the cuddle monster, thank you for the six months. You're cute. No, you're cute. <laughs> a cuddle monster. I need a cuddle monster. <laughs> Do you think I'm cool? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, literally, like, I don't know, it's like, it's sad, and like, I, I, like, honestly, a part of me understands why, it's like, there must be a part of them that, like, is so void of, like, love and aff affection that, like, they kind of do the reverse, but like, listen, listen, I'm addressing the haters right now, if you're a hater, 
just come here and let me give you a kiss, okay? <laughs> I'll give you a kiss and I will, I'll make you feel better, I promise. <laughs> all my, all my buoys get, get love and affection, so, you know, just, just join, join the buoys and you'll be fine, I promise you. <laughs> you won't, you won't feel like hating anymore, I promise. <laughs> I'm such a hate. <laughs> Oh, not like that. Not as in like the buoys already get kisses. <laughs> the buoys already get kisses. Of course, my non haters. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That's for the buoys. That's just for the buoys. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's because the mic's right next to my PC. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I tried to do it quietly. But, um, yeah, so the, <clears throat> the ASMR art that I just paid out for, which honestly was the most expensive freaking piece of art I've ever paid for, but so worth it. Um, I, <clears throat> I just paid for it today, like, sent the payment. And the artist, she literally sent me a sketch, or like, what she called a sketch. 
actually was holding my mouth open for like 30 minutes after she sent it because oh my god it is like the most incredible piece of oh my god I'm, lit I'm just in shock <laughs> I'm I'm literally just in shock <laughs> it's so freaking beautiful you have no idea it's so fucking gorgeous and she was like oh yeah it's just a quick sketch that's a sketch are you kidding me that's a freaking sketch that looks like a fucking finished piece of artwork but um yeah i did have to <laughs> i had to nerf myself a little bit though because the one she sent first was like boobies <laughs> so i had to nerf myself a little bit because i was like okay as much as i definitely want this i have to be true to myself you know i have to be honest with myself <laughs> i have to be honest with myself so <laughs> i had to nerf it a little bit as much as i would love to um <laughs> as much as i would love to have that i i had to nerf myself otherwise i would have been too strong yeah 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 Sheep, thank you for the dip. Wanted to request kisses, but oh, god damn it. <laughs> no, Sheep, please request something else. Please, I feel bad otherwise. Please, thank you so much for the dip, sweetie. But please request something else. I feel too bad. Please, 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 please. I love Gilly's boobies as they are. <laughs> Thanks. You would be uh, one of you. <laughs> I swear, like, talking about hate comments earlier, like, comments it's like why do her tits look like that <laughs> listen okay boobies come in all shapes and sizes and mine are just as amazing okay leave me alone <laughs> you should turn insomnia comfort yes i'm all listen to that okay. what's insomnia comfort that sounds interesting i feel like i would need that for myself <laughs> I, I feel like i would need that for myself we call it branding <laughs> exactly exactly it's branding it's that, that's part of the scheme you guys don't know is that my boobs, my boob shape is actually a marketing technique uh, to uh, spur people on. <laughs> it's a marketing technique to spur people on. <laughs> we were like, what can we do that's controversial that makes people uh, click? <laughs> I know, let's give our hack boobs. <laughs> uh, kisses are fine with me, God damn it. She, please, please, I feel bad. Please. <laughs> personality i think so i do i think so i like my boobs i think they look cool but um yeah let me um i really want to show you guys i'm, I'm allowed to because it was i commissioned it so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys um just give me a sec i'm gonna get the um thing and then i'm gonna cut it i'm just gonna crop it so you can just see the boobs because <laughs> i want you guys to see it as much 
that these sit on Pashtam, these sit like very natural, so that that's a good idea, but no, I think I don't think I would quite get away with it. <laughs> I don't think I'd quite get away with it. <laughs> Special members wallpaper. <laughs> this is not gonna be in the official artwork. <laughs> You'll need to just send a sketch of this. You saw this in this exact picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kelly IRL. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Ayo. Ayo. Not wrong though. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> no, but um. Yeah, I had to be nerfed. I had to be nerfed. So I was like, yeah. Who's that book? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it's Kelly Abu. on the working day. <laughs> Please request something else, otherwise I feel bad, dude. <laughs> Kiss is already on that. <laughs> oh, Drake, thank you so much for the tip, I appreciate it. Just got it and I'll share what's requested. Oh, is that but licks or bonks? Um, probably not licks, but what is a bonk? <laughs> what is a bonk? <laughs> Kiss is times three, goddammit. Okay, we can do uh, a kisses extended, so I'll, I'll do it for longer.
idea of instead of saying that, I could say I'm going to grill you like grill because it's the sea. Because <laughs> I'm a sea creature. <laughs> when she said that, I was like, I'm coining that. I don't get. I'm taking that from you. I'm stealing that. And she was like, Kill you. I literally suggested it for you. And I was like, I don't care. I'm stealing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to grill you. Okay, we've been talking for way too long. Uh, it's already been half an hour, so we need to actually get on with the ASMR. How about that? <laughs> we've, been, we've been doing soft whispers now for 30 minutes, so let's actually get on with the other triggers, otherwise it's going to be like a 15-hour ASMR stream, so... <laughs>
supposed to use a cotton vinyl, like that's not really gonna clean your ears, is it?
other side later on. I'm like, is this from my cat or is this from the ASMR? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if Mummy Army's ever seen me after an ASMR stream and been like, oh, you've been snogging the cat. <laughs> Listen to women. 
some more that's like lewd undertones to it but i don't listen to anything like that i listen to just like wholesome trigger or like roleplay asmrs but i don't listen to like anything like sexual but i definitely so like for me i can come for wanting and stuff like that but i don't really get why people like that you know i'm definitely a bit comfy yeah comfy all the way hell yeah <laughs> for asmr oh god Welcome to the internet. Yeah, literally. Welcome to the internet. It's so funny, I was talking to... Oh, who was I talking to? I think it was Elia? Or someone? About like... Um... Oh my god, I forgot what I was gonna say. I literally forgot what I was about to say. I was about to freaking say it. What the frick? What was I gonna say? Oh my god, my brain just stopped working. My brain just absolutely stopped working. What was I talking to Elia about? Oh my god, this is gonna annoy me now. It's gone. It's just gone. It's just gone. About why? <laughs> oh, that was it. I wasn't talking to Elia. I was talking to Roko. a weeb. I think I was always a weeb deep down, but because of my social circle and because of, um, just like my family, like no one else is really interested in that kind of stuff, I think I never really embraced it and always tried to like hide it. So I think the pandemic like kind of got rid of that, um, barrier and like broke 
it's dark. Okay, this is super niche. This is super niche, but apparently it's not a, uh, apparently it's not a unique experience. So there's a band called a uh, Fantasy, I think, and they make these like animated music videos. And there's one, there's one song uh, of theirs on YouTube, and it's either the band's called Fantasy or the the song's called Fantasy, and it's a video, and it's a bunch of teenagers, and they go to this swimming pool, they, like, break into this swimming pool, and, like, one of them, like, it's kind of fucked up, but it's animated, and one of them, all of a sudden, has this, like, alien that comes out of her, like, a vagina, okay, just, like, don't judge me, okay, <laughs> it's a good song, <laughs> anything like you can't see her private parts but like it's just like an alien and then <laughs> it starts like attacking everyone and kills everyone and then like the other people become the aliens and the alien comes out of the guy's head or the other one comes out of his belly or something and then the main protagonist the girl she like jumps into the pool she's like freaking out so she jumps into the pool and then um world like it's like a mirror and there's like it reflects and then she like somehow ends up in this like alternate universe and she's on this like huge cliff and there's like ginormous alien and then it's like the sun burns her alive and I don't know how but that was the beginning of my pipeline into anime <laughs> I mean apart from like obviously like I watched Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z as a kid Apart from that, and like a studio Ghibli, but apart from that, like, <clears throat> DYE fantasy, yeah, that's it, that's the one. That's the one. He thought that and thought it should have been me. <laughs> but I don't know how that happened, but yeah, after that, I think I watched Sword Art Online, which is my first ever anime, because I was like, this is really cool, it's really fucked up, but it's really cool, like, animation, like, I always thought it was just for kids, but it's not. And then, I think, honestly, it might have been, it might have been, like, an advert or something after that. But I saw Sword Art Online, and I was like, okay. And then I found this, okay. <laughs> this is, like, even more niche. I found this, I, okay, don't judge me. Obviously, I was, like, I was a kid, so I didn't have money to pay for, like, crunchy or anything. So I used this website called my anime list no no not my anime list what was it called oh my god what was it called oh my god what's it called oh my god it was something anime but um it it was just like a bunch of um free anime and i watched sort of online on there and there was this chat like chat room on there called Jatango <laughs> called Jatango and um I don't know if anyone used Jatango Kiss Anime it might have been Kiss Anime actually you know but I used this thing called Jatango and I was only a, like a kid so I really should not have been on chat rooms with like adults <laughs> Um, I learnt about loads of animes from there, and so, uh, that's how I kind of got into anime, because other people would recommend. Luckily, luckily, I've heard about people having really bad experiences on there in terms of, like, people being creepy, but luckily, I was, like, I was everyone's baby, basically, because I was, like, the youngest person on the chat room, so I was everyone's baby, and nobody, like, nobody tried anything creepy, they just all, like, projected me. <laughs> And just gave me cute animes to watch, so luckily it was a really good experience for me. But yeah, that's kind of how I got into anime. You were the creepy one. I was not the creepy one. <laughs> I was not the creepy one. Yeah, they were just kind of like a bunch of older siblings, really. Chris Hansen would like to know your case. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
Maximum Killing. I think I was like maybe 14. And everyone else was like in the like late teens to early 20s. Young Killy Grimmed Adults. <laughs> oh my god. But I, I actually still keep in touch with one of my friends from from that time. We don't really speak like we don't speak, we don't hang out, but like every, like, it would be like once a year, I'll like message her and be like, you know, how are you doing? How's life? And she's like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's fun, we'll just chat, but we don't really like hang out anymore, but yeah. <laughs> so many on <laughs> Are you sure it's a heart? To my knowledge, it was a girl. There was a couple girls in the community, actually. Which was honestly rare. Honestly rare, but I do know that she was, I do, I am pretty confident she's a girl because we used to Skype and like, she sounded like a girl, so, <laughs> unless she's really good at faking her voice, I don't know. <laughs> she might be though, maybe, maybe it's like a 50 year old dude who's like really good at faking his voice, who knows. Technology's crazy, but that was like, that was a while ago. I don't think technology like that really existed. So, <clears throat> or at least wasn't like accessible to everyone like it is now. So, communities where you guys hide a fair amount of girls. Yeah, you know. Um, one thing I, I honestly like, I'm really happy to see is like, kind of the. Uh, the stigma behind like women who enjoy like anime now is slowly getting better because I feel like they always used to think like that the only women who enjoyed anime and gaming is like ugly women like ugly obese women but like luckily the stigma is like changing now to where it's like I don't know now like you can be attractive and like anime and stuff <laughs> so that's good to see <laughs> Cause the amount of times I have people be like, you like anime, you like video games, and I'm like, uh, yeah, the fuck? <laughs> well, because I like take care of myself, I'm not allowed to enjoy freaking like, weeb stuff, you stupid. <laughs> yeah. So I'm lucky that stick was kind of going. I don't I think I told you guys right about that one convention I went to, I like that. <laughs> I had like five different people come up to me because <laughs> I went there by myself I went there on my own because none of my normie friends like that stuff so I went on my own and like five different people came up to me and they were like like one of them was actually like why are you here you're too cute to be here and I was like I was offended I was like excuse me <laughs> excuse me <laughs> how freaking dare you dude <laughs> Like, what the fuck? I remember one of them thought I was, like, with, like, they were like, oh, like, your boyfriend must be here or something, right? Because there's no way you like yourself. And I was like, the hell? I was like, I did. First of all, I'm here by myself. And second of all, I don't have a boyfriend. And third of all, like, how freaking dare you <laughs> assume? That, because, I don't know, maybe it was because I'm just a girl and there wasn't many girls at the convention. So maybe that was why. But, yeah. I was like, damn, okay. Going alone to a con is insane. Dude, I love going, I love going to places on my own. Maybe I'm just sad, but like, I don't know. You could, you get to choose when you want to leave. You get to like, go do what you want to do. Like, I love going to places on my own, are you kidding me? <laughs> I get to like, <laughs> I get to do everything I want without having to worry about asking someone else if they're okay doing it. And then when my social battery's done, instead of like, awkwardly being like, so, uh, should we make a move? I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm ready to go home now. And I go home. <laughs> it's awesome. And it gives you a good opportunity to make friends as well. Yeah, you get to make, re you get to meet really cool people too. So that's fun. Never gone alone to a con before. I've only been to a couple conventions. I've, I think I've only been to like one or two, honestly. I would like to go to more, but yeah. Alright. The next trio we're going to be doing is ice globes.
I love these so much. They're so freaking cool. Though. I've actually haven't used these in a while, so I've forgotten how to use them, but we'll see. Being with a group of friends at con can be very tiring. I definitely think my social battery is not big enough to go with like a huge group, so. Alright. Disconnected? Oh. I'm so sorry. Are we back? Okay, I am so sorry. <clears throat> I apologize very greatly for that. I don't know what happened. That was weird. OBS has been doing that a bunch recently. I don't think it's my internet though. Hopefully it's like... Just a temporary thing. And isn't like happening a bunch anymore. <clears throat> well, Damien Wolf, thank you for coming officially and enjoy I hope you enjoy your stay. New PC on the <laughs> don't you even dare. <laughs> this PC is incredible. This PC is amazing. It's literally the most pog PC ever. Was better than one PC too. I have two PCs, you stinky winky. I have two, because I have my old one still, remember? <laughs> Long gone are the days of Chibi Killia playing Diablo. <laughs> yeah. Might be a YouTube thing. No, I think it's an OBS thing. I'll check for updates after the stream and see if I have any updates pending. I might have updates pending, so that might be it, honestly. Who knows, maybe I just need to be better at updating my stuff.
actually love the way this sounds. It's like, it's super weird, but something about it just scratches my brain in the right place. What is it? Ice corpse. Something about it just really scratches my brain in a place that nothing else does. So they like go full and dropped up and down. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> Almost like listening to a coin rather than he spin it. Oh, that's a good comparison, actually. I would never think of comparing it to something like that. I haven't seen Sonic 3 teaser trailer. I have not seen the Sonic trailers. I've seen a bunch of people talk about it though. I'm honestly really enjoying doing this today. Like, I love doing ASMR streams anyway, but like, I think I just really needed to have like a, a brain scratch today. And like, you know, being with the boys makes it way better, because you guys like, genuinely are my favorite people. I, I can't, like, thank you enough for how amazing you are to hang out with, like, it's just nice. Say if I 
can join in on this trend. It's fun. <laughs> I love to post a toy long and literally a shlong, as you may call it these days. Thanks. <laughs> a shlong. I do not think so, mister. <laughs> I do not think so, mister. <laughs>
even I, Jenny. I have a huge pair. Oh, at least I have like a little bump on it. But at least I have like a little bump on it or something. It just tell her it's me as a whole. She's gonna think I do sex work or something. Jesus. I'm on a vibe and she already thinks the fucking air mic is weird. So how am I gonna describe that? bought some sheep. <laughs> what the fuck? What's wrong with that? Because I don't do that. That's what's wrong with that. Actually, I might have told you guys a story, right? I found, like... <laughs> I found uh, a lubricant in Mommy Ami's side drawer once when I was like 10. <laughs> and at the time, I didn't know what it was, but when I got older, I realized what it was. It should have been me. say that right. You can't compliment mommy on me, I'm not compliment you. Look at the door because she made. <laughs> I do get told that I'm like my mum a lot, so. Can't complain. This is a baby boob, goddammit. I'm not the baby boob streamer, shut up. <laughs> That's not my brand. 
hospital. <laughs> no, you guys have to spend your money on yourself. You have to spend money on yourself, not me. I'm good. Girl, I have four skips on Lee and on. Trust me, in terms of all, I am very satiated. <laughs> I know what is good, but if you had to pick, could you prefer a bunch of simple art of you or a few complex pieces? Um, I really do like the simple stuff. Like I'm a, I'm a bitch for a sketch. I'm honestly a bitch for a sketch. So maybe the simple ones, but I do like the complex pieces too. Honestly, anything that you guys. I'm, I just love seeing people's creative ideas. Save it for the talk to Peppery Vlog. <laughs> exactly. Priorities, you know. Priorities. Honestly, I think I actually prefer the lotion to the loom Because at least with the lotion it's not like super sticky, you know Whereas like the lube is like, it gets like super stuck to my hands <clears throat> Got the wipes Got the wipes, got the wipes I literally love the smell of baby wipes Came round to like the 
because I'm selfish. <laughs> I'm cleaning my hands before I clean you. Hello, everyone. Hope it's, everyone's doing well. Yeah, I think we're doing good, actually. Thank you for asking. How are you doing, sweetie? Thank you for coming. I feel, I feel super refreshed, actually, doing this. It's just like really nice to Just absolutely covered.
weird times, honestly, is like the biggest thing. Like, I think I'm getting an okay amount of sleep, but it's just like sleeping at weird times. Or like not sleeping enough and then like sleeping again, but like instead of having a nap like a normal person, I'll just like sleep for like another freaking couple of hours, which is bad. I don't know, I only like usually having one day a week off. Otherwise I feel like it's... I don't know, I feel like I have enough time to get... Whenever my sleep schedule is good, then I have enough time to have a personal life. It's only because when I have, like, my sleep schedule is broken, then, then it's like bad. You would think that, but uh, I slept through my morning stream, so... <laughs> you would think that, but... <laughs> yeah... <laughs> R.I.P. Fishing Clips. And the thing is, I'm not even gonna be able to do Fishing Clips next week. Getting sleepy now. Kelly, I got a question. It's okay, ask a question. Ask away, my darling. <laughs> Not sleep schedule. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Don't kill my sleep schedule. <laughs> Don't bully me. It's not like the boobies have a better one. See, I know you guys have a bad sleep schedule too.
So no sleepy for me.
from dancing. I don't know if hypermobility can be external. I don't know if I was born with it. It might be a combination of both. I'm trying to click my toes but they're not clicking. God damn it. Clicking your toes is the best feeling. If you guys don't do it, you're freaks. I just got one. That's so sad. That's so sad. Decompression from servicing. <laughs> Sometimes my sternum cracks. Whoa, that's crazy. Hum your original song. Which one? I have to. Okay, Sarah. Oh, I love that song. <clears throat> <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Is this pure imagination? Yes. <laughs> but I only know the first two lines. <laughs> so I just sung it twice. <laughs> I love that song. That's a, a good childhood song of mine. I used to watch that movie a lot. Come into me and do be and the world of your Imagination. Da 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 da. No imagination. It kind of sounds like um. Mm -hmm. You know, like the Why do birds suddenly appear Every time you are near Just like me They long to be close to you <laughs> That's like me and you <laughs> I want to be close to you Mommy makes me want to get you a kazoo. <laughs> you know, it's actually a little money. Favorite songs that kind of got turned into a different song is the Bossanova version of Castaway. Like, mm Mm-hmm. 
say it through your tummy. Oh god. My throat makes weird sounds sometimes. Please excuse it. <laughs> Please excuse my throat. It makes weird sounds, okay? <laughs> Just pretend like you don't hear it, okay? Listen to that being sung in the back, Yardigans. It's from the back, God. Yardigans. <laughs> It's from the backyard again. Okay. Yeah, it's from the show, and then it just like blew up randomly. And then people started making like bossa nova versions and covers of it. My <laughs> memory hasn't. Yeah. I like the way it sounds, bonus trick. Horribly wrong. Please, please, boobs, get out the way. This should be fine.
think I saw up now. Do I have a heart, bro? Where is my heart? <laughs> Where is my heart? <laughs> There's too much boob in the way. I'm dead. Shut up. Call me a good girl. No.
<laughs> no freaking need to mom. British, yes. I'm British. Every time we say she's cute, she says, Lola, she is. <laughs> stop. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> we did some critical damage today. I think we did critical damage to you, didn't we? Triggers can be asked for anything. Uh, yeah, mostly anything, but just keep in mind that if you ask anything I'm not comfortable doing, I'm probably just gonna try and find an alternative. To make it easier for you, the only thing I'm not really comfortable doing is like ear licking or anything like overly sexual. But I'm pretty open to trying most things. So, yeah, just to let you know. <laughs> okay, so I'm moving on to custom triggers. That was enough uh, heartbeat serotonin for you. I can't believe some of you are actually working out my BPM, goddammit. <laughs> How about burring? I don't know if I even can burr. I don't think I can even burr. Let me try. Yeah, I can't do it. It's more the back of the throat. <laughs> Baker, how was that? Was that cute? <laughs> was that cute? <laughs> Boy, <it's so> <laughs> God. You're not supposed to make me laugh. This is supposed to be relaxing.
She like it if I kissed you everywhere.
I won't do it too loud, but... heard of this one. like aggressive tapping but it's called bonking
have the shirt kept in unlock. <laughs> Thank you for the one month comment. I appreciate it. fresh and crispy bread. Oh, I love, I, I like freaking love the crispy bread. Like, when you see people who have just made a fresh loaf and they post it on like TikTok or something, the sound is like incredible. Oh my god, it's amazing. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna stop doing the bonking. <laughs>
existence. Brightens up my day. You know, I was actually, I was actually having a pretty rough day, which I told you kind of a little bit about in the beginning of stream. But all I could think about, obviously excluding the nap that I slept through, you've done. 
Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because the thing is, I don't want it to be too loud. Oh my god, I literally just said I don't want it to be too loud, and then I swallowed my water down the wrong hole, and started choking, <laughs> and I couldn't find, <laughs> I was like choking, and I couldn't find my mouse button, so I was like fucking spamming, like waving my mouse around the screen trying to find it so I could mute the mic, I'm so sorry I didn't catch it sooner, oh my god. Sorry if that was really loud. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I guess it's time to beat your ass. I'm probably gonna end stream while I'm beating your ass. So, before I stop the beating, just know. That's right, one good one for measure. <laughs> 